Hey everyone. Now I've got a bit of hands-on work to do today. So uh, it's gonna be all about these RTL SDR dongles. Now you've probably seen these before. They've got a metal case, which is the heat sink. But I'm gonna show you what's inside so you can see how they connect to that heat sink. Because even with this heat sink, they get really, really bloody hot. So the plan is to attach them to some real heat sinks like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. First of all, I'll pull one of these apart and we'll see what's inside. Right, do that, do that, do that. Pull it out. And there it is. So that's the uh, magnificent RTL SDR dongle. And on the back, you can see it's got this, that'll be like this heat transfer stuff here to make it couple with the uh, metal case here. So that's the idea with them. So as I put it back in, you can see it's pretty snug up against the case there. So that's what it's got. Now currently at the top of my server here, I've got a bit of a mess. So I've got the TV dongles here and I've got these things just sitting here. So the antenna comes in, goes through the splitter and feeds them. But as I said, they get hot. So I'm going to mount a bunch of these to the new heat sink. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, so the plan is to have six of them along here like this between two of, look at this. These are just huge, massive heat sinks here and just put them down there. So I'll have the antenna out here and the USB port is slightly in, but I've already checked my little USB extension cables have plenty of room out there to fit in. So they'll still be able to, to plug in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I've got some nuts and bolts for the job. And of course I made sure that the nuts would fit down there, if you know what I mean, like through there, then they won't turn as I screw them in from the other side. So what I've got to do is work out exactly where these are gonna go. Now there's actually some grooves down here which line up with the gap in the middle. So that'll make it easier. But I've still got the punch somewhere punch here to make a pilot little mark there so I can drill them through. So I'll just measure that up and then start drilling. All right, so with the six there, there's enough space to easily put that just 10 mil in from the end. So I'll put 10 mil in there, 10 mil from this end, and then I'll find the center mark and put some in there. Hey, dog, you're not helping. What do you do? Watch out. All right, so now they've been punched, the drill bit won't roll around. It'll just stay where it's supposed to be and I can drill them. So I'll go outside and do that now. Right, one. I also got some of that thermal transfer tape like you saw inside these things to put on top of them between them and the heat sink. So I'll cut some of that up and get that ready. 65 mil, it's the same width as this thing. So I'll just cut some of those 65 mil. I didn't have much spare, but I managed to get six of them at full size and six with the offcuts, so that'll cover all of them, for both sides of them, of course. All right, they're all on where they're gonna be. Doesn't look quite perfect, but it's good enough. What I'll do is I'll just give these, that's a bit of a tighten while I'm here. Sort of do a quick check first to make sure it all lines up before I go putting the stuff on the top, and it does, so should be right. It's being what we in the business call a cunt. All right, they seem to be lined up. And the screws that hold these things together are pretty useless. And I'll get back to that. Anyway, all these screws line up, so I'll just kind of do them the random ones as I tighten it. I've still got to put the nuts on the other side, but let's see if I can get them a bit further in first so they don't fall out. All right, so after a whole lot of mucking around trying to get these nuts on the bolts here, I finally got it together. So here it is with six RTL SDR dongles ready to plug in the server and serve that over the network. All right, so up here, it's a bit rough, but I've got one of the discount antennas coming into the splitter, being split up four times to go into four RTL receivers there. Here's the microwave one going in there, and this is a TV one, and then the USB just goes off to the server. So on the roof, I've got the two discount antennas and the TV antenna. As you can see, the discones are vertically polarized. The, antennas, the TV antenna is horizontally polarized, and I've got that little satellite thing up here. The other discone antenna goes to the Hack RF without going through the splitter because this can transmit as well. Okay, so now back in here, I can access them via USB IP. So if I just do list the USB devices, LS USB, you can see I've got five of them here. Now, as I said, the reason I've got five is because one of them was for RTL TCP for things like this. So I've got Welly IO just for for radio and general programs that, that use it. So I can listen to radio 
while I'm doing the stuff on the computer. Now if I open up GQRX, when it opens, you can see, if I show you the devices, in here I've got the list of them, so I can pick which device I want. So if I want to pick uh, the satellite one there, I do that there, and as I showed you, you need BIOS T on that, so BIOS, BIOS equals 1. I can set that up, start that up, and you'll see it there, so you can see the bits of stuff there. Now in the Top Dog Spectrum Analyzer, when I go to input an RTL FFT, I will have a list of them there, but you can see it comes up with a list of stuff here, and obviously the satellite's the first. So if I press B to enable that BIOS T, like I showed before, that's there. So anyway, that lets me access them over the network without having all the crap here, because the antenna feeds feed the garage, and um, you know I can use it here. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. So I'll just keep working on all this, and until next time, take it easy. She is a legend.